2018 Volkswagen Atlas 2.0 TFWD. A little heart in a big package. According to the ancient Greeks, the Olympian god Zeus forced the Titan Atlas to carry the weight of the heavens on his shoulders for all eternity. Much like the Greek deity it's named after, the 2018 Volkswagen Atlas is tasked with carrying a heavy burden, attracting more North American consumers to VW showrooms. Targeting the heart of the three-row, mid-size crossover market, the Tennessee-built Atlas is available with either a 235-horsepower turbocharged 2.0-liter inline-four or a 276-horsepower naturally aspirated 3.6-liter V6. Both engines are paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission and root torque to the front wheels, all-wheel drive is optional only with the 6. Despite being down 41 horsepower to the V6, the Atlas 2.0 TSE tested here was surprisingly quick at the track. The little forced induction 4 pushed the Helking Atlas from 0 to 60 mph in 7.2 seconds and through the quarter mile in 15.6 at 91 mph both figures bettered the results we recorded for an all-wheel drive Atlas V6, which needed 7.9 seconds to hit the mile a minute mark and 16.0 seconds to cross the quarter mile at 89 mph. Credit the Atlas 2.0T's peppy performance to its comparatively low mass, which, at 4,268 pounds, was 460 pounds lighter than the all-wheel drive Atlas V6. Additional accelerative assistance comes courtesy of the Atlas 2.0T's wealth of low-end torque. With 258 pounds to foot available from 1600 rpm, the 2.0T offers similar punch to the optional V6 which produces 266 pounds to foot at 2,750 revolutions per minute. This Atlas 2.0T's passing times were similar to those of the all-wheel drive V6 model. The four-cylinder needed 4.1 seconds to accelerate from 30 to 50 miles per hour and 4.9 to get from 50 to 70 miles per hour, whereas the AWD V6 performed those tasks in 3.9 and 5.2 seconds. In other words, the story has a much happier ending this time than when Ford tried stuffing a 2.0T in its portly Explorer, where buyers were forced to pay extra to opt for its terminal lagginess. With less weight to haul around and two fewer cylinders to feed, the Atlas 2.0T was notably thriftier than its V6 stable made at the pump. The 2.0T EPA estimates of 22 miles per gallon city and 26 miles per gallon highway better the V6s 18 25ths of a mile per gallon city, highway ratings, 1723 with all-wheel drive. In our hands, the Atlas 2.0T returned 23 miles per gallon over nearly 2,000 miles of driving, while the V6 managed only 19 miles per gallon. It also sipped fuel at a rate of 27 miles per gallon on our 75 mile per hour real world highway fuel economy test, as opposed to 24 miles per gallon for the AWD V6. The Atlas 2.0T also changes direction more spiritedly than the V6 model, and our test car's 18 inch Continental Cross Contact LX Sport all season tires help the crossover achieve an impressive 0.86 grams around our 300 foot skid pad. 0.02 grams better than the understeer prone all-wheel drive Atlas V6 sell premium on 20-inch examples of the same rubber. Both models ate up 174 feet of tarmac on their way to a halt from 70 miles per hour. Although the Atlas 2.0T is more enjoyable to drive than its more powerful sibling, it still falls short of the standard set by the Mazda CX-9. The Volkswagen's steering is well-weighted but lifeless, and the capable chassis exudes little of the verve of the Mazdas, translating to lower driver engagement. Regardless, the Atlas's smooth and compliant ride is sure to please passengers, as will the crossover's plentiful interior space, which offers second and third roll a groom that is significantly larger than the Mazdas and on par with class giants such as the Chevrolet Traverse and the Honda Pilot. The Volkswagen Atlas 2.0T starts at $31,675 for the base S model, which includes LED headlights, separate front and rear climate controls, and a 6.5-inch touchscreen infotainment system. Moving up to the $34,765 SE trim adds niceties such as a proximity key with push-button start, rain-sensing windshield wipers, automatic headlights, heated front seats, a power driver's seat an 8.0-inch infotainment touchscreen, and a blind spot monitoring system. 
Our SE test car also came with the $2,100 technology package, which added dual zone automatic front climate control, three zones in total, a power lift gate, adaptive cruise control, automated emergency braking, and lane keeping assist. Luxuries such as a panoramic sunroof, a power passenger seat, front and rear parking sensors, and a low-speed reverse automated braking system are confined to the $40,335 cell, while a navigation system and a 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster are exclusive to the all-wheel drive $49,665 Atlas V6 cell premium. A second row bench seat with room for three is standard across the board, although a pair of individual captain's chairs can be swapped in for $625 on all but the base S. With a base price between $1,400 and $1,730 less than the equivalent front-wheel drive Atlas V6, the Atlas 2.0T offers competitively punchy performance with additional fuel efficiency. If you can live without all-wheel drive, and the exclusive features of the flagship, AWD-only Atlas Cell Premium, there's little reason to pass up the Atlas 2.0T in favor of the V6. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.